What's up YouTube? I really think you'll agree with me if I say that algebra is one of the trickiest parts of maths. One of the reasons people find it so tricky is people just don't know what x is. By the end of this video you are going to have an incredible understanding of what we mean when we're talking about x. In order to say x amount needs to meet two conditions. It needs to be that we don't know the answer but it also needs to be that we can't know the answer. I'll show you some examples. How many fingers am I holding up? Well, we do know the answer. We know there are three and we can know the answers. So we wouldn't say X fingers. What about how many pens am I holding up? One, two. Well, we do know the answer and we can know the answer. So we wouldn't say there are X pens. We'd say there are two pens. How many buttons are on this calculator? Well, we don't know the answer, but if we pause the video, we could count them all. We could know the answer. So we wouldn't say there are X buttons because we can find out the amount. This question here, we definitely don't know the answer to this. But what about if I gave you a calculator and I gave you loads of time or I let you ask other people? We don't know the answer, but we could know the answer. It's possible. I'm going to show you this. I might have taken grains of rice out, or I might have put grains of rice in. How many grains of rice are in here? Well, we don't know the answer, but you can pause the video. You can do whatever you want. You're not going to find out how many grains of rice are in here. You can make a guess but you're not going to know the exact amount. And when we don't know the exact amount, we say X. So how many grains of rice are in here? There are X grains of rice in here. Something like how many clouds are there in the sky right now? We don't know the answer, but also we can't know the answer. We can't know how many clouds are in the sky right now. We can make a guess, but we can't know the exact amount. How many fish are in the sea right now? Well, fish are always being born, fish are always dying. We don't know the answer and we can't know the answer. So we can say there are X amount of fish right now, or we can say there are X amount of clouds in the sky, or we can say there are X amount of grains of rice. So that's what X is. It's when we don't know the answer and when we can't know the answer. And now that we understand this, the rest of algebra has just become so much easier. In the next video, we're going to be going over how to create some expressions with algebra. So come back then to keep algebra easy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.